Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Another cool and cloudy day across Connecticut, but things will change, especially as we get into the weekend. We'll start first with a look at wind speeds across the state. It's not so much the speeds that are of interest here, but the direction, that southwest wind. That's helping to bring some air right off of Long Island Sound, and that's part of the reason why we've actually seen some clearing right along the shoreline. That air is a little bit cooler coming off the chillier water, a bit more stable, but there are more clouds that are starting to build, and that will eventually take over. For now, though, certainly bright along I-95. Elsewhere, not the case. On the early warning pinpoint, Doppler resumed in here, uh, tracking this line of showers from Kent through Bethlehem to Watertown and Waterbury. Some light showers now approaching Bristol, too. Uh, we've also got some light showers along Route 8 through the Naugatuck Valley. These are all drifting north. This is over the past half hour. Some very light showers in Canaan, uh, Salisbury, moving over the border into the Berkshires. We've got light showers across northeastern Connecticut now, too. Some of these uh, heavier showers were actually dropping hail earlier this morning morning. Very small hail, no big impacts expected, but we are starting to see more development near Stafford, especially as those showers move north. And we've got one last batch of showers here moving through uh, New London County. These are now moving to, toward the Franklin Hanover area and will work their way through Willimantic and Wyndham shortly. So spotty showers, keep the umbrella handy. Over the past six hours, we've seen them pop up. And as expected, uh, they will last, last through the remainder of the day. Our area of low pressure still spinning, allowing for uh, these showers to continue. We've got little spokes of energy that are rotating around that upper level low that will allow for brief flare-ups. Those showers lingering overnight tonight. Futurecast here showing you tomorrow's weather today. We begin the day with a risk for showers, but as the day goes on, our wind shifts to be out of the northeast, and we actually will see some drier air try to work its way in. We may even see some partial clearing. On Friday, still expecting a lot of cloud cover, but not quite as much shower activity. A live look in our iCam in Windsor Locks. You can actually see the showers in the distance here, 55 degrees and cloudy. A live look in our iCam in Middletown, where we're starting to see a few breaks in the clouds. And then by the time we get to New Haven, well, we've got a lot of sunshine, bright blue skies, but this is short-lived. So if you were hoping for a little bit of sun for lunch break, soak it in uh, while you can. 46 in Waterbury, 50 in Willimantic, but we're at 55 in Hartford and Meriden, 56 in Groton and New Haven. Still very chilly off to our west, only 39 right now in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pollen still high today. It drops back a bit tomorrow, but notice that as we start to favor drier weather, that will spike as we get into the weekend. And looking longer range here, we start to favor above average temperatures. So things are certainly trending milder on the early morning seven day here. Watch as temperatures climb over the next couple of days. 50s again tomorrow, 60 by Friday, 65 to 70 Saturday with sun, 70 to 75 on Sunday, and carry even warmer Monday. However, clouds will thicken up Monday, and that could lead to some showers Tuesday, but at least we will still be warm.